Time to do a bomb drop. Driving down the Sharks Cove right now, we got Scotty in the back, but let me tell you the best sound in the world right here. That's the sound of getting psyched for Sharks Cove. It's about to happen in three, two, one. We're gonna be checking the waves right here. Lifeguards are already onto us. Let's see what the lifeguard has to say. Oh my God! What? You guys see those rights right there? What's going on? I'm out there. You out there? You saved yeah, the divers last It's time. good, I saved the divers. That's right. Dude, look at that, that's a good right. All right, the moment we leave, you're in charge. Look, I got it. All right, thank you. Everything but mouth to mouth. <laughs> okay, boys. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta get the right wax. Like, I don't know what wax this one is, I don't know what wax this one is, so hopefully I pick the right one. I pick it by smell. I'm gonna bomb drop, but the scary thing is, is when I land the bomb drop, I might get smoked by a rock. That's all the scenarios are going down right now, right before we fell out. But that's what makes it the best part, because you never know what the way is gonna let you do. So you gotta make the drop, go for it. That's why I'm wearing this, so I don't bounce off the reef. When I see the next time, I'll be like, oh my God! Shut out of our minds right now. All right, guys, we're out there. I'm gonna be on those rocks jumping off in about three seconds. I'll see you there. It's out on the rock right now, and look how sharp the reef is. Oh, are you kidding me? Time to do a bomb drop. Yeah. All right, guys, this is a mid-surf intermission out the back, Shark's Cove. The good thing is, is the sun's come out. Look at that, it just turned into an absolute beautiful day. The waves are getting better. A couple of boys went in. We're gonna hang out and try and see what else we could do out here. Woo! More sets on the way. Nowhere to 
And whoever's watching, don't ever surf Shark's Cove. It's not a good idea. Um, we're professional surfers and we're barely, barely getting away with it. So we're kind of playing Russian roulette out here. Not a good idea, but it's a great spot to film. And it's just us out, me and Dante. fun surf at Shark's Cove. We just kind of, it just turned on for the last like 30 minutes and um, getting a bunch of little sections, turns. Probably the best spot on the North Shore right now. But let's head over to Poopy Pig Grill, straight across the street. Best food in the world, hands down. You come here, Poopy Pig Grill. Put it on Google and you're on. Boom, we just got the Poopy Pig Grill. This place is literally the best place in the world to have lunch. It is located right across the street from Shark's Cove, the way we just served. Teriyaki chicken plate, top notch, A1. 100%. That's your favorite? Yeah, that with the mac salad and rice. Oh, just gets my taste buds stimulated. So good. But I think everything is not here. <laughs> <laughs> the Hawaiian bowl, oh no, delicious. <laughs> hey, the poke bowl is like the best in the world. Literally the best. The Hawaiian bowl. Mental. I mean, anything on the menu is amazing, but what makes this place more special is that people are the most coolest people in the whole world. So you guys gotta come check this place out. I'm gonna go get my food right now. Thank you. <laughs> All right, just got the food. It looks amazing. She makes amazing dishes but we're gonna eat now and then we're gonna head back to pipe and finish the day off and the vlog's not over yet we still got a whole day ahead of us guys we just got done with poop grill we're gonna go grab a board on the side of my yard we're gonna head out the back door it's not as big as i thought it would be the swells dropping it's kind of just been a pretty weird day but stoked on sharks cove and let's see what the session's gonna bring us <laughs> how you know when you bust out the big bars big things are about to go down just kidding just kidding now. i don't take myself too serious all right do you guys just see who just showed up look it's scummy we got to get this guy back in the kayak on a big swell right yeah 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 no, no problem no, no problem <laughs> preparing for back door Mega nose riding session is about to go down. Made sure my leash is long enough so I can run up to the top like this and just get nuts. Like, I'm gonna spend a lot of time up here. Maybe some helicopters, maybe maybe some hang tens, hang fives. Hang my buns over the nose. <laughs> it looks kind of fun. It's been raining like most of the day and the sun came out and then the rain came back. So we're gonna go make the best of this afternoon. Enjoy the show.
right, everybody. I just want to say a huge thank you. There's 900 comments right here below this video. Sunset surfing, kayak, crazy madness. But anyways, let's get to it. We're gonna answer a few questions today. Okay, so we have Torin B, and everybody's been asking the same question, and I've been telling everybody the same thing. The answer to the question is, where is poopies, you know? Like, everybody's like, where is poopies, where is poopies? I can't even get a hold of poopies. Poopies is, um, he's in California. I kind of told him he should move to Hawaii and make residence here, and we can make sick videos and help build his YouTube channel and my channel, and just, you know, sky's the limit. Let's do it, poops. Poops didn't want to move, so. Poops is in Cali, if that's your answer. All right, so the next question, it is from Ben, H13, whatever that means. But anyways, let's get to the question. He asked me, how deep is the reef at Pipeline? Okay, usually when you look at an eight foot wave at Pipeline, you cut that in half, so it's four feet deep. If it's a three foot, it's about a foot and a half. You know, it's like, it's really, really shallow. Like, you could almost touch the bottom at all given times at Pipeline. So there's your answer, answered. So this next question is from Fletcher Dirkskin. He said, can I come to New Zealand? He's gonna pick me up, I can stay with him and do whatever, whatever, you know, we'll go search for waves. Kind of weird, I'm not gonna stay with you, but I have good news. The good news is that we're coming to New Zealand. Who is JOV 9.0? We are planning for a New Zealand trip. So it's probably gonna be about a two week trip. We're gonna hit Raglan, we're gonna hit all over. It's gonna be epic, so if you see us there, make sure to shoot me a message on my Instagram and let's link up, let's go for a surf. The next question is from Davis Plays. He asked me if I could do how to surf pipeline kind of tutorial or something like that. You know, I think if I just explained to you how to surf pipeline, you would never figure it out because I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, it's like, it's mother nature, you're dealing with the ocean, so not one wave's ever the same. There's nothing the same about pipeline besides just the same lineup. And I'm not gonna tell you that, but good question. All right, this is a good one. This is from Kalen Brent. He said, how do I get over my fears like surfing gnarly shore breaks or big waves? I think the best way to get over your fear is, is to lead yourself into getting yourself in a pretty bad situation and learning how to relax through the situation to calm yourself because even I have to do that when the waves are big, I have to talk to myself and be like, hey, calm down, relax, relax, everything's okay. Um, little pep talk to yourself, boys get you side, get out there and, and just learn what you can handle. Cause like, it's hard, like I'm scared to go surf a giant chopo, but when a perfect wave comes at a giant chopo, I'm going, you know? And same thing, like you put me in the Eddie Aikau, like I'm scared on the beach and everyone thinks you're like a hero on the beach and I'm freaking scared shitless, you know? You just go out there and you you push your own limits and that's what life's all about. And then it gives you that feeling of like why you're alive, you know? You feel good, you feel confident after that and then after that, the sky's the limit. This one's from Bruce516. His question, or basically he's just telling me like, don't kill Ben Gravy while he's here. Um, ben Gravy arrived today, Monday, this vlog, he is arriving on Monday. I'm psyched, dude. Me and Ben are gonna have the best time ever. Looks like we're gonna get a great run of swell and we're gonna have a great time hanging out together. So stay tuned, because it's gonna be in next week's vlog. Ben Gravy in Hawaii. Next one is from Max Weller. He said, when's the merch coming, dude? I got merch upstairs. We're launching. Sometime this week, it's coming, I promise. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just way out of this world, man. There's so much going on in the vlogs and, and editing and filming and multitasking. And now we're trying to like make some cool stuff. It, it's coming along. I don't have my stuff right here, but it's coming. Is the merch actually coming this week? Well, Max Weller wants merch, dude. So like, <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to answer questions. Here, show me, let me see the hat. We got, we got, we got merch, dude. It's, it's not like we don't have it. It's upstairs, I got this. I just need a little more help on Shopify and we'll be getting this stuff out, dude. We got a limited edition of these hats and there's more coming. So, yes, yes, you know what? The store is gonna open this week, so get ready. Link in bio, guaranteed. Shout, dude. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments. I'm sorry I can't answer 900 comments. Um, I never thought it would come to something like this. 
every video. We're reaching over 100K in views, which is awesome. So thank you guys very much for watching the content. And thanks, Alex, and everybody else that's behind the editing scenes. But we're gonna end the vlog. I'm sorry, guys. I'll see you guys next Monday, but don't forget to click the button right here to subscribe and to watch more videos. And don't forget to click notifications to be the first one to see it on Monday. Get psyched, I'll see you then.